Good morning, Raven County. This is uh, Roger Glenn with POS Realty coming to you with another in our series of video features about the businesses, the organizations, and the people of Raven County. And we're really happy today to be here with Teresa Van Maal, who mm -hmm. is the owner and chief artist of Teresa Van Maal Studios. Yes. Right here in Lakemont. Yes. Okay. We start with the tough question, Teresa. So take a moment if you need to think about this, but okay. where's the studio located? <laughs> it is located just south of Lake Mount Village, historical Lake Mount Village on the old 441 South in Lake Mount. Yeah. Right across from the Triangle and Lake Craven Road. You've got a great story. So can you just tell us how it is that you came to be here in Raven County and have such a beautiful studio? Well, um, my husband has a place up here and um, we decided to move up here a few years ago. And um, I saw this property and was hoping that I could acquire this property and it took a little while to get it. Um, but I was fortunate enough to get it and about three years ago and there was a shack on it. Uh, that had belonged to Tom Honeycutt, uh, who many, many people know here that used to run the uh, store that was over in the Triangle across the street. And uh, so I got it and uh, was able to turn it into my studio here on the river. Yeah, and the rest is sort of history. That's right. You were telling me earlier that your father was a civil engineer, engineer, but did some he, of the road construction he was a here road in Raven County. Yes, he did some of the road construction here. He built Bridge Creek Road and some other roads, uh, uh, quite a few. And so I grew up uh, coming up to the mountains with him and all my other siblings uh, riding through down dirt roads and not seeing anyone for hours and uh, <laughs> winding up in North Carolina or South Carolina while Daddy visited with uh, many of the people along the way. So yeah, the mountains are stomping ground for me. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Well, can you tell us a little bit about the studio and the classes that you offer for art and a little bit of yoga? Yes, um, well, I got my art degree from Ringling Art School in Sarasota, Florida, and um, after uh, being a studio artist, I decided that I would like to also teach classes. I started by teaching children at Quinlan Art Center back years ago, right out of art school, and um, then I began to teach adults also sculpture and painting, and also sculpture and painting to the children, and did that um, where I lived near Griffin, Georgia, for many years. And so now I have my place here, and I'm eager to start sharing it with adults and children, which I've been doing this summer. Um, delighted. I've, I've had a very good response with the kids here this summer, and I've taught now a couple of, of um, um, adult workshops also, and also I've taught some private classes to adults and some private classes to children. And I uh, got certified with yoga about four years ago in Asheville. So um, I'm also teaching yoga classes on Friday and Saturday mornings at nine o'clock. And um, it's, uh, it's a very busy place. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like it. Um, and so you're doing children's, adult, and you're doing painting, yoga, and is there any sculpture still going on? I have not started the sculpture classes yet. I do have a lot of interest in that. And I want to start that as soon as I can get a kill. Uh, I have a small kill, but I sold my two bigger kills, so I've got to get a larger kill so I can do that. Yeah. And um, um, that is definitely in the near future. 
Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. So I wish I could volunteer to be a subject, but I think that would only like keep the wild animals away. Well, you never know. You might be a subject, but now that you've said you would volunteer, <laughs> we we need a lot of photoshopping. Can you do that with? Can you make me taller? Give me some hair. We ready? can do it. Okay, oh, sweet. Yeah. We um, can do it. So uh, you're going to be operating year round. I From am. This point forward, I am. Okay. And I also do my own work. I do commission work, painting, and uh, sculpture. So I also want to bring in other artists and um, I, uh, to show their work. Um, not sure exactly how I'm going to do that, but I've already lined up for a couple of people to come. Uh, one is a jewelry maker in uh, Alabama that works with pearls. And she's uh, just does beautiful work. So I plan to bring her work in uh, for a show. Another artist that I've talked with, uh, well, two artists, they're buried, uh, they're potters. And uh, they both taught at the university. And uh, he is a master glazer, has written some books. And they're planning to come probably in September. Uh, and I'll show their work. Steve Laus and... Um, uh, Annette Hesser. So wow. uh, they're um, incredible artists. Yeah. And so it's going to be a real privilege to have them in the studio. Yeah. I mean, Raven County is such a hub for arts, crafts, and we have festivals like Celebrate Clayton, but the reality is it's going on all the time. And uh, mm -hmm. one of the myths that I work very hard to de destroy is the myth that there's nothing for children to do in Raven County, and there are a plethora of options. Um, if folks want to find out about some of these things in terms of visiting artists or your class schedule, things like that, what's the best way for, for them to do that? Well, what I did this summer, um, I advertised on uh, the Lake Raven site and uh, the Lake Burton site. Mm -hmm. um, and that was a real good outlet for me. I got a lot of response from those two. And then of course at church, younger parents, um, since I'm not a young parent anymore, uh, I'm out of the loop with a lot of people that have young children, um, but there's a lot of parents that want their kids to have art. Um, so yeah. Do you have a uh, social media, like a Facebook page or things of that I, nature? I do have a Facebook page. I do not have a website. That's another thing that I have to work on getting, um, which I will be doing soon. And um, so. Yeah. Well, we'll link that Facebook page so that people can find you very easily. Good. How's that sound? That's perfect. <laughs> um, what about the future? You talked about a couple things that are, that are upcoming, mm -hmm. but what about some other things? What are your plans for this facility or just what you would like to do with the community in the future that you're excited about? Well, I'm doing an awfully lot right now with the yoga classes and with the, um, the art classes for children and for adults and the private classes um, and my work. So I'm trying to sort of juggle how to do all that and be productive myself. Um, but I, I really do want to showcase some other artists um, as much as I can. Yeah. Well, um, you forgot that places. you're a master landscaper as well. Well, you... I do love to landscape. I do love to garden and it is an art form. So um, I love that and who knows? Who knows? I might just bring in somebody that has to do with something that has to do with gardening. Ooh. You never know. Stay tuned. That's a teaser if I ever heard one. <laughs> um, well, Teresa, thank you for taking some time to talk with us today and share your story. Beautiful studio here. Thank so you. So if you've got kids or you're an adult and are interested in some of the things Teresa talked about, again, we'll link her Facebook page and other places. But really happy that that you're here and doing all the wonderful things you are for Lakemont and, and Raven County. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And then if you'll help me say goodbye, or as I like to put it, when I wave, we'll see Bye. you next time, Raven County. Bye.